Hey everyone, this is Tim, and this is the fifth video in this series. Today we're going to talk about magnesium phosphate, and magnesium phosphate is utilized in the human body by the bones, muscles, nerves, red blood cells, thyroid, and of course the liver. Uh, in the bones, it's because it binds with calcium uh, to help calcium absorb. In the muscles, it acts as a relaxant, as many of you know. Uh, because it's magnesium phosphate, whenever a phosphate comes into play, you know it's a brain and nerve nutrient. So let's get into the facial signs now. I'm going to try to make these a bit shorter uh, to try to keep your attention a little, a little longer. Uh, so here's the main signs. And this is going to cover the actual vanity aspect or correlations just by telling you the facial signs. That's all there is. These red ears, but be careful. Uh, the reason why you need to be careful is because if somebody has been out and had excessive sun exposure and the, their back is sunburned, the back of their ears is most likely going to be as well. So make sure they're not sunburned, and that these ears are red all of the time. You will also see redness on the sides of the nose, uh, and you will get the involuntary eyelid twitching, uh, which has been known about for so long. Something else that's not a facial sign, but a lot of people don't realize it, is that a magnesium deficiency, just like a thyroid hypothyroidism, will lead to cold hands, feet, butt, nose. Uh, it regulates your basal metabolic temperature as well. It or plays a role in it. Uh, so. When you have those types of uh, symptoms, it may not, don't just call it thyroid, it may be magnesium, it may be B12 as well. But anyway, let's move on. So that we've already covered the vanity aspects, the correlations to vanity issues. Uh, the eye twitching, the red ears as we're seeing, and the red on the side of the nose. Let's go through and we'll look at some of the other photos. So once again, we're seeing redness here on the side of the nose. It's not as prominent here, but this is definitely prominent. You see, there's no sunburn. There's redness here, there's redness here. She'll probably have some eye twitching. It's, it's not always with the eye twitching, but it's most in the most severe of cases, twitching of the eyelid will occur. So what's it look like when somebody doesn't have it? Right back to my gal here who uh, there's a lot of a lot of deficiencies that she doesn't have. Granted, she has some other deficiencies. We are seeing the red nose here, not related. Uh, this is related to something else. Because there's no red ear to accompany it, it's not magnesium. So, look at this ear. This is what the it's the color of the rest of your skin. That is what your ear is supposed to look like. So now you get to compare that to this redness, this redness, along with the redness there, of course. And now you see what a magnesium phosphate deficiency looks like in the human face. We've covered the vanity issues. Let's move on. The behavioral issues, because once again it's a phosphate, are going to be a bit longer. So we're going to cover those last. Uh, so with the health issues, arterial plaque, again, just like with the bones where magnesium binds with calcium and uses helps it as, be properly assimilated into the body, it also prevents it from, the, from causing calcification and arterial plaque. Diabetes helps with the pancreas, the goiter of the thyroid, we've already talked about that briefly. Regulates blood pressure, it is an electrolyte. Uh, so you wind up with high blood pressure if you were deficient. Irritable bowel syndrome. Again, it's a muscle nutrient and a relaxant. Uh, a person with a magnesium defici deficiency will crave sweets, sweet foods. Uh, magnesium, people with a magnesium deficiency will also be stone formers. Not cholesterol-based stones, but calcium-based stones prolapse spinal discs, PMS, cramps, 
low they'll have a low pain threshold so they'll be sen very sensitive to pain uh, gassy lots of flatulence uh, great fatigue it's actually it, it is another one that is associated with chronic fatigue syndrome estrogen dominance in people with, uh, w with magnesium deficiencies light sensitivity so they'll they'll often squint a lot so I guess you might call that a vanity issue as well uh, kidney pain seasickness epilepsy and vertigo all associated or have correlations to a deficiency in magnesium phosphate let's move over to the behavioral issues uh, people with a magnesium deficiency have an inclination for addiction so gamblers uh, alcoholics um, tobacco smoke for some reason and in fact you can use uh, magnesium is actually used as a supplement given to people by those who, who do the laser acupun ear acupuncture for to help people quit smoking for smoking cessation so anyway anxiety because it's a natural relaxant uh, associated with arrogance uh, a lack of discretion they'll typically be gullible uh, lack initiative be very moody the drama queen again uh, slow in learning uh, lack maturity have a very poor memory be subject to outbursts of rage uh, unable to relax depression of course but they'll be very talkative you know that person that will just never shut up check their ears and see if their ears are red you may have found the cause They'll have chronic and constant nervousness. Um, it's actually used, magnesium can be used for a person who's suffering from shock. So if somebody just went through a very traumatic experience and they're going, and they're suffering from shock, magnesium is one of the first things you should probably reach for. Um, also for children or, or adults with sensory processing disorder. Uh, you should really consider magnesium for or for that matter all phosphates anyway that's all of it so we'll go through it one more time red side of the nose expect some blinking eyelids and some squinting as you're seeing being done here red ears just like we see here sides of the nose a bit of squinting going on here well her eyes are closed not related because there's no redness of the ear no redness of the ear, this red nose is not related. And this is actually full nose, it's not just the sides. Uh, eyes are closed, you wouldn't be able to tell anyway whether she was squinting or head twitching, but no red ear, I wouldn't expect that to happen. That's it for now, bye bye.